In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the firing range in Delta Force Hawk Ops Tactical Turmoil. So now this is the extraction shooter mode in the game. So um, there is multiple ways to access uh, your firing range through your black site, which is accessible through here. You go enter, you'll spawn in here, and then you just go here. Tactical Warfare Unit. To your left here, you have access to the firing range, okay? So now, the alternative is also through, uh, if you go to, let's see, if I hit tab, through your stash, you can right click your weapon and hit uh, modify, and also you have access to firing range through here as well. Okay, so that will be back here. All right, so you have many uh, features here within the uh, firing range, which I think it's important to learn. Um, so on the top uh, left-hand corner, you can see the damage uh, that you can deal. And there's also a refresh button there. So uh, right now, let me switch it to single fire mode real quick. As I do damage, you see that the damage goes up. Okay. Uh, the applied damage goes up here. And hit O to refresh it. This way you can test it. Okay. So reason um there's also armor total armor damage there as well so the way to do this is uh, actually i'm going to show you that a little bit shortly uh, as we get into the armor pieces so um on each section here you have access to uh modify your ammo as well as uh modify your targets okay so we're gonna go here we're going to modify our ammo here so here you'll have the option to select the type of ammo you're using. This is the white ammo for this gun, green, blue, uh, purple, as well as uh, orange, which is the best one. So you can equip it so that you can do your test as well. Okay. An alternative to get into the screen is to hit the tab key and it will bring you to the same screen. And if you have multiple weapons, you can also do the same thing for each of your weapons that you have equipped. Okay. All right, so now that you're here, you can see in the bottom right corner that I have the best weapon, the best ammunition um, equipped. And um, so uh, then you can also continue on with your testing. Okay, so, so why is it important to install different ammos is when we get into the armor that you can set for your target. So now you can, if you go here and you hit F, you can set the range for um uh the target uh for each so i'm going to set this one to 22 meters i can add health to the target as well i'm going to turn on numbers display so you can see the damage numbers as you hit and the most important piece here is uh helmets and armors that you want to install on a target so if you click here you'll have access to install any or equip any armor that you want for the target so I'm going to pick uh, the highest class to equip on this and save this. If you can see, my target now has the armor. And it's only for this one. Okay, so you can see that the other ones aren't because you need to do the same thing here for each. As well as this one if you ever choose to do that. Okay. So a great thing is you can also set different... Uh, uh, distances for each. I want if I want to bring this one closer, I can do that, and it will be here. And of course, I can set the damages as well as the target uh, armor. Okay, so um, so now I'm gonna hit O to refresh again, and I'm gonna do some damage. So this one is just pure armor, armor again, and then I did armor, but I penetrated a little bit. So now. I can start doing full damage now that I've penetrated the armor. Okay. So that is essentially it uh, for it. One of the features that uh, I kind of wish we can have is to have moving targets as well. Hopefully they will add that in a future patch for this. But uh, this is really great if you want to test each weapon and to see um, how each ammunition works for each weapon okay 
I'm trying to grow this channel. Do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. Stay unfazed.